Right, hi guys. Um, just to check as well, the volume wasn't too bad in the last episode, but I'm going to leave it quiet. Maybe I'll add it up slightly. There we go, it weren't too bad. Um, just been messing around doing some stuff off camera, which sounds absolutely bizarre, <laughs> considering I've grown here out of breath. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into Act 2, shall we? I wish I could have seen that tooltip. Goddamn first world problems. Right, we've got to find the mysterious caves. This is going to be fun. I haven't even a bloody clue where to start looking. How did I engage these? I guess my pet must have run over and started fighting them or something. I don't know. I'm going to just tank you. What are you going to do about it? What I'm going to do with these videos is I'm just going to get them out. Um, it's only, like I said, it is only going to be five parts. Um, so I'm just going to literally, there's going to be one each day. Um, obviously this will be day two. Um, probably should have mentioned this in the first part, but I've only just decided. I kind of just want to, oh, right, I'll kill bosses like I've said before. Right, can I get this boss as well? Yeah, come on, all of you. Right, bring it on. Let's make this a fair fight, shall we? There we go. Yeah, all 20 of you against me. I feel sorry for you. Right, oh, I'm surrounded, you poor fools. And there's the helping arrow. My goodness, God. Right, well, we're just sprinting down there. I'll kill blues and boss packs I meet along the way, but maybe super big groups, but that's it. Everything else can just... Yeah. I don't need to kill it. I'll do quests as well if I find any, like, side quest things. But groups like that, just nah. No point. I'll kill these though, actually, because there's a lot of invisible mobs, so this will probably end up in quite a fair bit of XP. Must be one final poison cloud and run Right, what's this? Yeah, seeing as we're not killing much, we'll, we'll actually do this side area because it'll just look like have a boss in it. Or some sort. It's generally like a very easy... Easy area with a very... Like, generally a high-ish in return. In this case, it's just a merchant. Eh, it's nothing good. Sometimes there's like chests and stuff in. Oh, I can still head down, cool. Oh, there's another one here, which, again, I am going to go in and do... Oops. But as you can see here, there's like actual proper chests. Come on, stop talking. I literally just spent more time talking than fighting. Alright. Oh my god, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's cool. Two meh chests, not the like greatest chest ever, but... We're surrounded, kill everything, get myself unsurrounded. And if we follow him now, can die in a poison cloud. Yep, we've not missed any uniques. 
Oh, we have to kill that guy. But, well, kill this guy so this guy activates. Alright, stop talking. Open the bloody thing. Right, I kill all enemies in level 2 of this area. So I'm not going to kill much in level 1. I'll kill like a set of... Um, I will kill boss groups. And as soon as that shield wears off, we're dropping my piranhas. Fish down early on these guys. Why do we all nicely group together? Fish it back up. Just finish these guys off with it. Two handed sword, which is probably not going to be much use. Considering we've got a pretty nice layout. 17% less damage. Chance on hit though to summon a demonic slave. We're gonna keep that and you'll see why. I want that all. I, the very last line I really like as you can imagine for this build. And with the cube we can do stuff with it. And on hit as well. We hit three bloody times with this. Um. After killing, you know what? I'll put it on that weapon. Maybe not the weapon. Maybe I'll put it on my like offhand item, my shield, as you'd call it, whatever I'm referring to it as. Bloody hell, dead end. Seven minutes and we've not even done one. It'll be a thirty-five minute video at this rate. Ooh. Let's have a look. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I've got um, another part of this set back home. Your fetish army lasts until they die, and the cooldown of your fetish army is reduced by 80%. So, I might even actually just change the build live on camera now. Fetish army. Summon an army of five for 20 seconds. Oh my god, that could be huge. Let's have a look. Fetish ambush. Cold. 90 seconds. Wait, that's 80%, isn't it? Like, it would be up so often, but I wouldn't need it. Increase the number of dagger wielding summons by three, so it'd be eight of them. Summon an additional two casters. And that shoot blood darts deal in. Blah 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 is poison damage. We'll go with the No, we'll go with that because we're gonna have them up permanently. We'll just have that. And then I'm gonna go back to town now and have a look at the set and see if we actually are gonna change we might actually change this build up. In fact these pants are better regardless. Um yeah, like I heal a little bit less. Um right, yeah, it's got six point six percent recovery, however. Um, there's two sockets there we can do anything with. I'm going to like make some gems. going to do a bit of crafting it seems. And where's the other ones? It's... Um, where is it? Endless Walk, Black Thorns. Did I put it in here? Where is it? Oh, I'm wearing it. Right. Yeah, I'm wearing the gloves. Of course I am. So last until they die and the cooldown is reduced by 80%. Holy crap, that's nice. Right, where's the gem dude? The gem dude's over here. We need two... Yeah, we need two really, really, really high quality... Um... Wait, I could get resistances. What are my resistances? Like, they're pretty ridiculous, to be honest. But do I just keep it up, or do I go for int? For damage. Um, we'll go for int. We'll just mix it up. 
We can always just like change our mind. Um, so I'm just going to do 27 of these. Wait, we'll do 30. Why am I doing 30, you ask? Well, I can do... Let's just do 15 of these. I don't worry about the gold. Then I can do... See, these are where, like, death breaths come in and stuff. That gives me that, and then I can get two of those. I roughly work that out. Then I can... Then... Right, before... They were my pants. Yeah, like 7% damage increase as well. Right, that was a very nice find what we got on camera as well. That was cool. Um, I am going to put these into this. This is basically like my... like This is my strength gear. Um, like Obviously there is like the odd few. Um, for example, that needs to come into here. Um, this is all my dex gear, so like my witch hunter and demon hunter and stuff. Um, yeah, I need to like kind of sort through these actually, but let's put my junk at the top and stuff. I need to check elsewhere. Um, but yeah, I've kind of just split them into like six different tabs because this barb and crusader what you strength. There's the dex. Um, there's the monk and sorry the witch. No, there's the monk and the. Go on. Demon Hunter, there we go. And then there's the Witch Doctor and Sorcerer, well, Wizard, what use, Int. So I've kind of split those into three tabs for, like, different legendaries and stuff, and I've kind of had a mini sort out, but not a full sort out. Like, that can just get trashed. It's level 17. It's so bad. Um, anyway, let's go to my gems, chuck those in. Then, and... Like, again, oh wait, I wanted that, didn't I? Um, so where do I put the stuff that I want or to look at? Wait, I'll do that up there, because then I'll be like, why is a legendary up there? I'll remember it then. Um, right, let's now... This is going to be awesome. Oh, oh squirt! What do you sell? You sell a weird amulet thing. Oh my god, you sell designs. Nice. Right, well. Hellfire amulets and rings. Let's see if I can actually already craft these. Um, Hellfire amulets and rings. Which would be armor. Hellfire amulets and rings. Wait, it's a bit eh? Racers, boots. Would it not be under air? I would have thought it would have been under air. Um, come on. Right, this guy doesn't do. Who the hell does bloody. Who does rings and stuff then? Maybe I have to buy them? You know what, let's just take a chance. I haven't played for that long, so I'm just going to assume that I have to teach him how to do them. Oh, teach the jeweler. Whoops. Oh, I'm going to cry if I've just spent 15... K... Forge jewelry. Whew. Alright. Um, all. So... How do I craft this? I need Heart of Evil. I see. Um, I have. Do I have any of these? No. Right, fair enough. Okay. Let's get out of here. Right, where were we? Blooming heck. Right, we can't, I can't be bothered selling stuff just yet, so. Right. We found the thing, didn't we, like, halfway through a run. So, my fetish army now lasts forever. And the cooldown is super low. So, like, hopefully they don't die straight away. That would be, like, insane.
but yeah, they're almost back up off cooldown. I don't think it's going to let me have more than eight. Do I have to kill? Yeah, I have to kill every enemy in this area. I'm looking forward to sort of seeing a boss. Because I think it's just going to get absolutely destroyed. Right, well, here's a boss. And let's just do it. Oh, shit. Right, I might have to change my skills around. I don't have my fish. Then again, I don't need them. I, yeah. I don't need stuff grouped anymore. Uh, we have a resplendent chest, which is quite a nice fancy chest. And pool of reflection it adds a certain amount, apparently, like now. See, there you go. Bonus pool remaining. But that's how the... Yeah. The pool of reflection works. Make sure there's none of the chest down here. Nope, there isn't. Right, let's try and make up some time. 16 bloody minutes in. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. It's pretty cool finding that piece of gear. So I've just got to kill 100 enemies in here and then kill a boss. Um, but yeah, holy crap, my army. You know what, actually, I've just remembered. Yes, more build changing. Um, when you hit enemies with your spells, that's like why I'm getting all these little fetish things. However, um, the damage is increased and I get an additional dog. Like, I don't know if there was something that, um, reduced the cooldown of the following skills. Your movement is increased. Bonus is increased, an additional dog, vision quest, um, no, I'm just looking for stuff with like, um, yeah, go on. When an enemy dies within 20 yards, there's a 15% that zombie dog, wow. Reduce all damage taken by you and your pets by 15%, I don't really need that. And, yeah, there's not, I think I've got enough. I just wondered if there was anything specific, like, aimed at the fetish stuff. But, Jay, just run. We're getting bored. Well, one good thing now is at least that, um, yeah, we know where the area to go is. The amount of minions I've got is ridiculous. Let's just kill those just to be able to run fast. We do have, well, we have a boss, which is useful. My goodness me, I do feel like we're doing a lot of damage. And again, like some of my pets can't even do anything. I guess tight spaces are my weakness. Not weakness, but they're just not ideal. Then again, when something is surrounded, oh my god, that died quick. And we just need to kill a few more enemies in here now, so it doesn't really matter where we go. We just need to find enemy after enemy. Done. And we'll go to here now. Um, free the villagers from their cages. I guess we'd have to go this way. Yeah. 
It is. It's not too bad. This quest is pretty quick because everything's just literally here. Like, literally all of them are just round here. And I even believe we get these as a, like, little follower for the time being. Oh no, they just go straight back to town. Damn it, that would have been awesome. Again, at least open areas, though. Um, yeah, is our strong point. It's where we thrive, so to speak. Right, by the time I'm coming up to the next one, my minions should have cleared it out for me already. That's three, four, come on, thank you. Wait, you know what, I'm going to see if I can make my fetish army um, ranged, so that would be nice. They wouldn't have to get like so up close and personal. Maybe they are already ranged and I've just not realised. But we'll see. Look at that damage. Oh my goodness me. So, dagger wielding fetish casters that shoot blow darts. We'll go with that. There we go. And hopefully, then. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. They don't like have to try and fight for a spot. Um, they can just stand back and poison stuff as well. Oh my goodness me. I'm liking this build. <laughs> Look how many arm like minions I've got. And get out of here. I'm flying through this now. This is probably gonna be shorter than the other video, ironically enough. Just due to the fact that I'm killing stuff so much quicker. Um, cleanse the cursed shrine. These are annoying. Literally, this is just going to take me a minute before I can even make progress towards it. Um, because I don't know where the cursed shrine is going to be. It's probably up here. Then again, I suppose it is going to take me a minute to get towards the area. Well, there's... Who's this guy? Oh shit, I'm gonna get frozen. Protection shrine. So here we go, come on shrine, show me where you are. Oh wow, we're right pretty near it. And it's gonna be in here apparently. Damn it, I wanted to kill it before it was... I wanted to kill, I thought I'd only got one guy left and I was going to kill it before the thing exploded. Treasure chest, absolutely terrible loot. Let's get everyone in here. And basically just kill as many enemies as you can in the amount of time. Which is going to be pretty insane. It's kind of a bit tricky to be honest at first because there isn't many enemies spawn, so you've got to like try and kill them as quick as you can. Whilst, um, like, yeah, if one of them is just running around, then like the wave next wave won't spawn, and you end up like kind of struggling. But we should be all right now. It gets to a point where it's just constant, and that is just like literally, yeah, like now is brilliant because if you look, the poison's constantly spreading from one thing to another. Although it's not quiet, we need like one more. Holy. Oh, wait, these are just waves. Never mind. These are bloody waves being defeated anyway. I didn't realise. I think it was like so many monsters in an amount of time. Um, I picked that up then before opening the chest. It's just a small but, I guess, useful thing to do. I'm going to kill the act boss now. 24 minutes. Yeah, ironically enough, this act is going to be shorter than the last one. Holy shit. Uh, back in the day, like there was a very, very high chance of um, treasure goblins spawning in this area, and why, like, 
this map's always consistent and yeah you would literally just sort of like run this area like fair enough there's no zombie uh, no goblin and then you just leave but obviously we can't quite do that it was only that area back there it's not this area this area is not exactly known for it yeah zombies um, there's a blue group otherwise i probably wouldn't have bothered with this Oh, I thought some of my minions had died because there's seven, but I can't, we can't have eight, can we? I forgot about that. It's nice to know that they aren't, like, dying then. Where have the witch? Yeah, we do have to run kind of round it. Let's just head up here. Shoot the little barracks, which does give us a movement speed boost. Crystals of crafting material, which will show you why it's useful. After rank 5, what sort of chest is that? It's just a normal one, but we'll open it still. Yeah, not bad of ruby and an emerald. My goodness me. Plug on level 107. We're probably going to get an achievement as well because I haven't killed this boss in months. Um. Oh my good god. Wow, get absolutely wrecked. I'm trying not to take damage because I'm guessing there might be an achievement for it. Well, there's two. Two achievements. And return to town for my reward. As if like this wasn't reward enough. Um, do we have any blue items? We do have a barbarian belt, which we're not going to ask to use. Is there anything else I could throw? See, that's worth thirty thousand. Yeah, let's just go back. Screw it. We'll get our rewards. As if this, yeah, this episode, like, yeah, this episode is going to be shorter than the other. That is, that is unreal. Like, whoops. Like, I would not have been able to predict that. Let me just quickly check none of these. That's not bad. See, again, that just makes me think that my offhand item, I could get it way better. Yeah, again, like, my... Our fan doesn't give me that much toughness at all. Like, there's been some seriously big numbers around that. Um, I'm just going to deposit the ring. Because we are going to craft with that later. And I probably should craft those as well. In fact, you know what? Let's give you guys a sneak peek into crafting. Let's just salvage all these first. In fact, let me get my reward in case my internet crashes or some shit. There we go. So, right, what you can do is, what we're going to be doing with the rings and stuff later on, right, is if you get a rare item, don't tell me I just salvaged them. Oh, no. Whew. But if you get a rare item, it's a very cheap recipe as well. Rare item, 25 of each of these. Um, we've got some more death breaths in stash. Transmute, it makes it unique or, um, wow, this zombie dog is automatic with 70 or side every two seconds. That's just insanely good. Let's try this one. Oh wait, it's not going to work if we don't have enough bloody death breaths. Ugh. Let's go and get them. So we've got like 275. But, hence why I said crafting materials are important now. So that, 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 that. Transmute. It could be green. Nope, it's just blue. Um, that, that. It's not bad. Mana regen, zombie charger. Um, I prefer that, actually. It makes us even weaker. Um, but the summoned... 
dogs every two seconds is very possibly OP. Um, your zombie dogs burst into flames. Um, heal me. 10% of all damage. No, I, I kind of want like when they die to explode. See, maybe it's not that useful. Oh man, right, I've got to make a decision right now. As if, do I want to keep that or not? No, like for the toughness I lose, it doesn't give me that much. But again, like, do I even need zombie dogs? Maybe I could actually have that as a different skill now. What happens if, let's try it then. So, say if I don't have this. Say if I put my fetish army onto number one. And then turn my dogs into my cold piranhas. Become a tornado that's sucked in. Yeah, I want that still. And then... Right, let's just, let's open these as well. There we go, cool. And just chest everything I don't need. So let's put these butterflies, we've got 18 of those now. Chuck the gems in here. Then we'll figure out what we're doing. That I'm going to get rid of. I can't ever see me wanting to use that. But, let's just say, for example, um, if we went... Let's try a bit wild, perhaps, like the Act 2 boss. I guess it's worthwhile running it. Like, at the moment, there's been no zombie dog summoned. Or is there? There's five... Yeah, zombie dogs. Oh, that is ridiculously strong. I kind of have to do it. I kind of have to use this item. Holy crap. What about another summoning spell? Big bad voodoo. Conjure a fetish. Um, fire bats, grass the dead, spirit walk. Hex, Mass Confusion, Soul Harvest, um, Sacrifice, see that's OP, Black Blood, each zombie dog you sacrifice is a chance, so yeah, basically it just deals a lot of damage, gain mana, command all your, um, gain 20% increased damage, There we go. We've got an AoE stun now. So I kill my dog. Wand. Yeah, like my dogs are an AoE stun and they're just constantly summoned. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm so excited. Um, and I just can't hide it. See, this is why I couldn't do the videos in order. If this would have been Act 4, like, you guys would have been like, wait, what happened to his build? Like, how's he stunning stuff? Um, for three seconds as well. Wow. That's crazy. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in Act 4. Oh, what if that done? That would have been awesome if it had been Act 3. Anyway, guys, I will see you in Act 4.